常安全的秘密呢，其实都在我们的这些相关的零部件上，我们采用的。然后呢，起降点可以分散在我们城市的各个各个的角落里。像我们这个回到自己的小区，我们的停车位旁边就会有停机位啊。那我们的楼顶也可以具备起降的条件。那么像我们的这个商超、医院、学校、啊、这个街道的旁边、公园都可以具备这种小型的起降点。那完成这样的一个呃起降点的布设之后，到那个阶段呢，我们就可以实现真正的这个空中交通。我们可以把之前。打出来的点连成的线，然后织一张比较大的围绕着我们这个半径在三十公里以内的城市空中交通的常态化的飞行航线。我们一定要让这个航空器成为一个有商业闭环价值的这样一个发展的一个方向啊，它不能成为一个我们的研发产品，也不能成为工程师的一个玩具，我们要成为每一个消费者能够用得上、体验得到的这样一个大众的一个日常的消费品。未来呢，我们希望飞机都可以像汽车一样变成消耗品。好了，比如说无人机以后就是要点哪一个就哪一个味道都可以尝得到，因为在如果在公园里面的小卖部，它会指定的就几个产品，因为产品可以多样化。This is the first time I'm seeing something like this, so it was super fun to see the food being delivered by the drone by this technology. So it's more the experience than the and the convenience. 
you can't compare with the current aviation aircraft or commercial aircraft. So that means uh, there are some risks there. there, but there is also many other issues there. For example, if we think about it, in the Hong Kong or other big city in the like Shenzhen in China, you have uh, uh, every they have a thousand uh, UAVs operated and at above your roof. What kind of noise or impact could be on the on the res residents or the people? So all those things need to carefully and manage in order to and maximize the benefit for the society, but at the same time try to reduce the risk or downside, the impact of the technology. What I think about it is, um, is very important. We need to, as I said, we need to define what are the real. So I think the, the, the future for the, um, the AI age will be there and is bright. But however, the road leading to that broad future might be treacherous. Jelajahi cara baru mendapatkan informasi. Download Metro TV Extend sekarang.